In this lesson I will explain tarot card meanings. Major arcane cards from justice to the world. Listen very carefully and don't forget to. Subscribe like and share the video. Put simply, the justice card represents justice, fairness, truth and the law. As an outcome, the justice card indicates that the fairest decision will be made. You are being called to account for your actions and be judged accordingly. Notice that justice's scales are balanced, thus its appearance indicates that events have worked out as they were meant to work out and that what is happening to you comes from the decisions you have made and the actions you have taken in the past. You have what you deserve. Justice represents a conscious awareness that your decisions and actions have long-term consequences and your present and future circumstances are most likely a result of these decisions and actions. At the same time, justice shows that your actions in the future can be changed by a lesson learned in the present situation. You cannot become honest without extending that honesty to yourself and others. Justice reflects the search for truth. You need to know and speak the truth and perceive it in the words and deeds of others. Be fair and just with all and you will soon be able to detect dishonesty in yourself and others. Learn the rules that govern what you are involved with. This is a time to remain objective and to base your judgment on fact and not on heresy. There is a need to be fair and just when you see the justice card in the reading. When everyone is playing fair and adhering to the rules, a positive outcome will be achieved. However, you need everyone to be on the same page for this to occur. It is no good if there is someone who is going against the grain or trying to stir things up. The Justice card also indicates a time when decision making is required. Something in your life needs attention, mediation or a solution. Look to the two cards lying on either side of the Justice card to understand what it is that you are weighing up in your decision making. As you contemplate your decision, are you the person to pass judgment, or is your role to accept the decision that is made? How can you remain as objective as possible, whilst searching for the truth of the matter? It is an important time for your inner umpire, that is your conscience, to make the right decision. Balanced judgment exists. Justice often refers to legal matters of all kinds. The courts are where judgments are made and decisions rendered. The legal system is the official arena in which the principles of justice, fairness, impartiality and the quest for truth, are explored. If you see the justice card in a reading where there are legal matters at hand, expect the outcome to be just and fair. You are also likely to be dealing with legal contracts, such as a marriage license, divorce decree, business contract, financial arrangement or litigation. Where you are the person demanding justice, know that justice will be served and lawsuits won. Of course, if you have acted in a deceptive way or have not spoken the truth, be aware that justice will still prevail and you will need to take responsibility for your actions. The hanged man reflects a need to suspend action, and as a result, a period of indecision may be indicated. Decisions or actions that need to be implemented will be postponed, even if, at the time, there is a sense of urgency to act. In fact, you may be much better off if you can stall on any decision-making and action-taking at this time in order to provide yourself with more time to reflect on the situation at hand and to consider the greater good. If you can buy yourself some more time or hold off on any further activities for a short period, then you may actually create a different, and better, outcome. This is a card that is all about suspension and waiting, and suggests that this may be just what you need to do in order to allow new possibilities to arise. Sometimes not acting will help to shed more light on what other options are available to you and will allow more attractive opportunities to emerge. The hanged man can sometimes reflect that you are feeling stuck or restricted in your life. You need to get in touch with why you are feeling this way and work to release yourself from these restrictions. In this way, the hanged man is also about letting go. You need an emotional release from whatever it is that is leaving you feeling stuck. Accept and surrender to your present circumstances. You may need to become more vulnerable and open to different experiences but this will help you end the struggle and give up your need for control.
it is when you can really let go of all the worries and concerns that you have, that you find these concerns suddenly disappear and a new reality is possible. The reversed position of the man in the hanged man indicates the need to look at yourself from an entirely different perspective, while the hanging indicates that your life is simply suspended for a time in order for you to recognize what needs to be changed in your personality. The tree is also abundant with leaves and vines, which suggests the possibility that the situation will bear fruit. Thus, the hanged man represents a reversal of your usual way of life and seeing the world from a completely different angle. Try hanging upside down yourself and look around you. Does it not all look so different? Your perspective has changed completely, yet the physical surroundings are exactly the same as when you were looking at it from an upright position. The hanged man asks you to turn your world around and view your situation differently. When you do this, you will find something new that will prove to be of greater value to you on a much deeper level. It may be that you have to sacrifice your previous beliefs or even way of life but it is a time of renewal and your life will go forward. The hanged man is a willing victim, someone who has chosen the path of sacrifice to accomplish a higher goal. The hanged man represents the willingness to forsake the temptations of instant gratification for a higher cause and because of this willing sacrifice he accomplishes the goals he has in his heart. He is like the ultimate martyr, putting his self-interest aside and giving up his personal needs for the greater good. Consider areas in your own life where you need to act in a more selfless manner, either for the benefit of others or for the fulfillment of your own deeper needs. On the flip side, you may need to assess your life for areas in which you are giving up too much to others at the expense of your own mental and spiritual well-being. Sometimes martyrdom can go too far. Similarly, the hanged man tells you that you should be willing to lose something lesser in order to fulfill a greater goal. This goal is likely to be spiritual and personal. An investment of time, energy, and or money may have to be made in order to reach this higher level of attainment. You are devoted to the cause and are open and ready to take on the task in front of you but first you need time to pause and consider. The death card is probably the most feared and misunderstood of all the cards in the tarot deck. Just the mention of the card's name has people shaking in their boots. In general, people tend to take the meaning of this card far too literally and fear that the indication is for the death of either themselves or others. Relax. The card of death can be one of the most fruitful and positive cards in the deck. Death is symbolic of the ending of a major phase or aspect of your life that may bring about the beginning of something far more valuable and important. You must close one door in order to open another. You need to put the past behind you and part ways, ready to embrace new opportunities and possibilities. It may be difficult to let go of the past at times but you will soon see how important it is so that you can bring renewal and transformation into your life. If you resist these necessary endings, you may experience pain, both emotionally and physically but if you exercise your creative imagination and visualize a new possibility, you allow more constructive patterns to emerge. Similarly, Death indicates a time of significant transformation, change and transition. You need to profoundly transform yourself and clear away any of the old in order to bring in the new. Any change at this time should be welcomed as a positive, cleansing, transformative force in your life. The death and clearing away of limiting factors can open the door to a wider, more satisfying experience of life. The death card contains elements of a sudden and unexpected change. You may feel as though you are caught in the path of sweeping change and cannot escape its effects. Though the immediate thought is toward the negative, an end need not mean failure. The loss could be a series of unexpected surprises that bring an end to a period of turmoil or problems. You feel you can no longer go along with the status quo and want things to change radically. Many changes are going to take place to enable a new direction to emerge. Finally, death is an indication that you need to learn to let go of unhealthy attachments in your life to pave the way to a fuller, more fulfilled life of deeper meaning and significance. Death teaches you to let go of outworn and outgrown ways of life and move forward.
This is a perfect card to use to break a bad habit or pattern of behavior. This is a time of eliminating excess and cutting out what is not necessary in your life. This may be a good time to purge old belongings, memories and baggage that is getting in. Temperance indicates that you are learning to bring about balance, patience and moderation in your life. You have been able to take the middle road, avoiding extremes and maintaining a great sense of calm in your life. You have learned to keep calm in situations of great stress or anxiety, and you give the impression of being a swan, paddling madly underneath the water but appearing so graceful and elegant on the surface. You do not let things get to you, and you have found a place of peace where you can put things into perspective when things get hectic. Your respect for balance and tranquility is what will help you to achieve and experience fulfillment in your life. Your temperament will be well balanced and you demonstrate good management and balance in your outlook on life. The temperance card reflects that you have a clear, long-term vision of what you want to achieve. You are not rushing things along, rather you are taking your time to ensure that you do the best job you can. This card also reflects a higher learning in what you are doing and demonstrates that you are learning a great deal on your journey. You are at peace with what you are doing and it is all coming together very well. Your inner voice is guiding you gently to the right outcome and you are patiently listening and following. You have a very balanced perspective on the situation at this time and you are in a very good position to make the right choices. In relation to others, temperance represents adaptation, coordination, and tempering external influences. You are able to work in harmony with others and there is a heightened level of cooperation in your activities with others. You are able to combine forces and join with others in order to bring it all together. There is a beautiful synergy at work that leverages the right mix of talents, experiences, abilities and skills. Temperance asks you to be patient so that you can act with timing and precision. Patience and moderation will result in good management of all things. Do not feel that you need to rush, just let the situation evolve at its natural pace. Temperance can also reflect a period of self-evaluation in order to re-examine your life priorities. You are now seeking a much greater balance between your inner and outer selves, searching for a higher meaning and purpose in life. Throughout this transition, you may also experience a clash between the old and the new you, sometimes feeling confused about which direction you ought to take and what is really important to you. You will evaluate seclusion, detachment and retreats as methods for accomplishing great things. You will avoid pain, conflict and distractions and lessen your stress and anxiety. Looking inward will recharge you. There is nothing to fear. It is part of the process and without it change could not occur. The card of the devil represents the hidden forces of negativity that constrain you and that trick you into thinking you are imprisoned by external forces ultimately out of your control. The devil is an inner force within each of us. He represents our fears, addictions, and other harmful impulses. He is a master of deception and creates the illusion that you are involuntarily bound to him. However, the figures in this card are free to remove the chains from around their necks, indicating that they have freely given the devil any power he has over them. When you see the devil in a reading, ask yourself where you are feeling stuck or restricted in your life. You may be tricked into believing that you are being controlled by external forces when in fact you have created your own chains of imprisonment and powerlessness. A sense of hopelessness can accompany the devil. You feel despair and have a pessimistic view of life because you feel that so much is outside of your control. You fear the worst, and this means that your fears have a hold over you and prevent you from leading a more fulfilling and optimistic life. What are the addictions or attachments restraining you from experiencing the freedom of the fool? Are you giving yourself over to the illusion of helplessness and despair? Know that you have the power within to free yourself from the bondage of the devil. The devil often reflects actual addictions and dependencies in your life, such as alcoholism, drug taking, unhealthy relationships, overspending and the like. You think you need something and you are willing to go against what you know to be right and true in order to obtain it. 
you need to break free of these negative patterns of behavior by acknowledging the hold that they have over you and the negative impact they are having on your life. Often they are behaviors that are immediately gratifying but which cause longer term damage to your inner fulfillment. More generally, the devil indicates that you are becoming obsessed and hell bent on a particular idea, situation or endeavor. You are over investing yourself in one area at the expense of other areas of your life. Often, the devil card represents an over dependence on material wealth. You may have become so fixated on becoming a millionaire or owning a fancy car that you have forgotten the importance of investing in your relationships or yourself. You have generated a belief that value lies in how much you earn or how much you own. You have created an unhealthy bond with these materialistic desires and you are now being controlled by this bondage. How many times have you sat safely within the narrow confines of your life, comfortable in your current thoughts, beliefs and expectations? Then, out of the blue, something shocking happens that completely destroys your picture of peace and harmony. It blows your mind or throws you for a loop. There is a sudden realization that your comfort was based on an inadequate foundation of false thought, belief and action. This is a humbling, frightening but necessary experience. When you see the tower in a reading, you may feel afraid, shaken and insecure. It is a time of great turmoil and destruction as you seek to understand how you could have been so wrong, so naive, or so blind about a particular situation. And now, what will you do and how will you manage in the face of this shocking truth? You may be experiencing sleepless nights, depression, grief, anger and confrontation. These are normal reactions to major changes in your outer and inner worlds. A tower experience is any experience that shakes the foundation of your current sense of security and or forces you to question your strongly held beliefs, perceptions, attitudes and behaviors. It may be a divorce, death of a loved one, financial failure, health problems or job loss, or any event that penetrates to the core of your inner being, affecting you spiritually, mentally and physically. It is often descriptive of a major upheaval, disruption, emergency or crisis, and is likely to bring chaos in the aftermath of such an event. If the tower appears in your reading, ask yourself, what structures in my life are breaking up? No doubt you will already be very aware of where there is turmoil and destruction but sometimes it can be on a more subtle or subconscious level. The most important aspect of the tower is that with any destruction there comes creation. Thus, the tower card represents an awakening and is about inspiration, freedom, reality and the release from bondage. It is a truth and honesty card that comes as a bolt of lightning to you through a shocking and impactful life event. It represents a necessary experience that forces you to get out of your comfort zone and to grow beyond your present level. The sudden destruction of the tower represents the immediacy of change, and the often disorienting effects of that change. Once you hit rock bottom the choice is yours. You can revert to the self-defeating, restrictive devil, or reach for the transformational and inspirational star. When you begin to reach for the star, you will come to realize that your true security and strength lies within yourself and your relationship with the universe, and not in some false belief system or artificially created world. Following a tower experience, you can rest assured that you will grow stronger, wiser and more serene as you begin to develop a completely new perspective on life that you did not even know existed. These moments in time are necessary for spiritual growth and enlightenment. Truth and honesty will bring about a positive change, even if you must experience pain and anxiety throughout the process. The tower also represents the inner and outer structures that you have built. These structures represent your personal defenses, defenses that create a more socially acceptable you by hiding your true, inner thoughts and feelings. It is like laughing politely when your boss tells a joke, or, on a deeper level, disguising your sexual feelings, particularly if you feel that they are socially inappropriate. In times of great pressure and stress, these structures will be tested and are at risk of shattering, finally revealing your true inner self to those around you. So, 
you need to be very careful how much of yourself you attempt to hide, knowing that one day, all will be revealed. The tower therefore asks you to break down the structures that you have surrounded yourself with. This can be a painful and difficult process if you resist against the external forces that are pushing you to reveal more of yourself. Breaking through this pretense can cause a great deal of anguish but remember that the tower will fall, whether you like it or not, because you have reached your limits in this area and can no longer live with it. Similarly, the tower can signify your ego and the illusion of considering yourself to be superior to others. When the tower of ego, deception and illusion is destroyed, you are free to face truth and reality without the trappings of false attachments. Are you undergoing a major shift in consciousness? Are you beginning to see things in a new way? Embrace the opportunity to accept change and move forward into a more positive psychological state, where personal freedom is the rule. The Star Tarot card brings renewed hope and faith and a sense that you are truly blessed by the universe at this time. Courage, fulfillment, and inspiration are in your life. You are entering a loving phase in your life filled with calm energy, mental stability and deeper understanding of both yourself and others around you. This card is saying to you that, over the long term, you should have faith and trust in the universe. A better future is waiting for you but in order to reach it you must trust that it is indeed possible. As it follows the tower, the meaning of the star tarot card suggests that you have endured life's challenges and have been through a difficult time but you are now open to healing and transformation. Your ability to let go of damaging memories has been strengthened by contact with your true self through these difficult times. Hatred, envy, bitterness, and revenge have burned themselves out and no longer shadow your life or get in the way of your potential for future happiness. You are now also able to forgive and forget so that you can embrace new opportunities. The Star card is therefore an important card for personal transformation. When the star appears in a tarot reading, be open to new ideas and growth. Listen to the still small voice within. You have a strong desire now to find or rediscover a sense of meaning, inspiration, or purpose in your life. You are making some significant changes in your life transforming yourself from the old you to the new you, and in doing this you are bringing about a fresh perspective on life. You may also be feeling that you are finally honoring the person who you truly are or want to be, rather than simply following a routine that has little meaning to you. There is a deeper spiritual journey that you are going through which is all about bringing greater meaning and purpose into your life and renewing your inner energy. You hope your future will be better than your past. This card is the call of destiny that motivates you or compels you to go on. Your desire is not in vain as you will ultimately find what you are yearning for. In a tarot reading, the star brings renewed self-esteem and increased trust in yourself. You will become aware of how successful and respected you are. You may attain a goal that brings lasting happiness and your reputation may be enhanced. The Star Tarot card is particularly encouraging when you have come through a period of opposition, negative feedback or setbacks that have previously damaged your self-esteem. The Star encourages you to have faith in yourself and to believe in yourself. The Star Tarot card also indicates a generous spirit. You want to give or share your wealth with others to help transform their own lives. You have an open heart and you now want to give back the blessings you have already received so that others may benefit. The moon often represents your shadow self. The shadow is a psychological term introduced by the late Swiss psychiatrist Dr. Carl G. Jung, and is a part of the unconscious mind consisting of repressed weaknesses, shortcomings and instincts. Everyone carries a shadow, Jung wrote, and the less it is embodied in the individual's conscious life the blacker and denser it is, cited in n.wikipedia.org web link. According to Jung, the shadow, in being instinctive and irrational, is prone to projection, turning a personal inferiority into a perceived moral deficiency in someone else. Thus the moon calls your attention to your shadow, becoming consciously aware of any tendencies to project fear and anxiety onto your external surroundings and turning it around into more positive and constructive energy.
The moon is a psychological card of projecting fear into your present and your future, based on past experiences. The images, thoughts and feelings that you have repressed over time cause inner disturbances that are becoming overwhelming. As a result, you are now experiencing negative blocks within your personality, causing fear and anxiety. To remedy this, you need to go through a purging process whereby deep memories are released. This is a time when you need to go deep into your soul and dredge up your anxieties, fears, psychic blocks and personality disturbances. Many invisible things are coming to the surface including secret motives, clandestine information and ancient hidden truths. These newly discovered resources may confuse you but once they are brought to your awareness, they will no longer haunt you. The moon is a card of illusion and deception, and therefore often suggests a time when something is not as it appears to be. Vigilance and clear perception will be necessary to find that which is hidden before it is too late. If other cards in the reading are negative, then the moon shows that not all is as wonderful as you would think and there are still hidden forces at play that may unravel your success. You may be idealizing the situation, and ignoring the fact that potential for failure exists among success. If the other cards are generally positive, then the moon suggests that you are letting your imagination run away with you, and that things are not nearly as bad as they seem. In both cases you must open your eyes and see what it really going on. Guard against accepting illusions as they may cause an error in your judgment. Oftentimes, the moon appears in a reading when you are not sure of your destination, or even of the path you are traveling but you travel nonetheless. You may have lost your way and are now left to walk in the dark, guided only by your inner light and intuition. You need to go on without a clear picture of where you are where you are going or where you have been. The moon is a card of intuition and psychic forces, so let go of your conscious mental blocks or negative self-talk, and allow your intuition to guide you. Your dreams, intuitions, and inner promptings lead you forward toward higher levels of understanding if you listen carefully and use your judgment to help interpret the veiled messages of the unconscious. Not only will the way forward be revealed but in many cases you will learn lessons about yourself that will be valuable in later journeys. The sun represents success, radiance and abundance. The sun gives you strength and tells you that no matter where you go or what you do, your positive and radiant energy will follow you and will bring you happiness and joy. People are drawn to you because you can always see the bright side and you bring such warmth into other people's lives. This beautiful, warm energy is what will get you through the tough times and will help you succeed. You are also in a position where you can share your highest qualities and achievements with others. Radiate who you are and what you stand for. Shine love on those you care about. You have an innate sense of confidence right now. Life is good, the sun is shining and you are on your way to achieving your goals. The sun represents that feeling of getting up on Saturday morning, with the whole weekend ahead of you, and you open the curtains with the sun shining on your face. Having struggled through the shadow sides you now know yourself and know where you are heading, and the sun illuminates your path. The sun is a yes to life. It brings with it luck, wellness, positive consciousness, enthusiasm, attainment and success. It is about embracing your destiny and giving it everything you have got. If you have been having a difficult time, the sun brings you the message you have been waiting for, that things are going to get better, a lot better. You know that the rain clouds will soon give way to the rays of the sun and you will feel warm to the soul once again. The sun is also an energetic card. It reflects a time when you can expect to experience an increase in physical energy, vitality and general positivity. You are bursting with enthusiasm, feeling invigorated and enjoying a wonderful sense of good health. The sun reflects the value of simplicity. No elaborate scheming is required but instead, plain and simple is the best option. Experience the freedom and liberation associated with living the simple life and doing what you enjoy most. Get back to the simple pleasures such as spending time with loved ones, getting back to nature, or simply reading a book in your garden.
expect a boost in the right direction and trust that work can and will be done, with relative little effort. This is a time when you will feel enlightened. You can finally see the path ahead of you and through the hardship you have endured, you have attained a new level of insight and understanding. You may have even had a personal or intellectual breakthrough where you have finally unlocked the key to your fundamental being. On a very literal level, the sun can indicate travel to a warm or tropical climate where you can finally bask in the sun and enjoy the warm rays. The judgment card calls for a period of reflection and self-evaluation. Through meditation or quiet reflection. You may come to a point of deep understanding about the common themes throughout your life and what you can do or change to avoid these situations in the future. Judgment tells you that you are close to reaching a significant stage in your own journey. The Judgment card suggests that you have had a recent epiphany or an awakening where you have come to a realization that you need to live your life in a different way and you need to be true to yourself and your needs. You have opened yourself up to a new possibility to lead a fulfilling life that serves your higher needs and that offers inspiration and hope to others. You feel as though you have had a calling in life, and you are getting much closer to the point where you need to take action. Something that was lying dormant within you, some unconscious knowledge or truth is finally being awakened and brought into the light. With its theme of awakening to new life, the Judgment card suggests that you have reviewed and evaluated your past experiences and have learned from them. All the pieces of the puzzle of your life are finally coming together to form one, integrated picture of your life story. This integration has healed any deep wounds and you are now in a position to put the past behind you. Your memories no longer haunt you, and you are able to understand and value what has happened to you and what it has taught you about life. Now. You are ready to confront any unfinished business in your life, clear up any misunderstandings and view the future with peace and deep knowingness in your heart. Judgment is about finding absolution. Through a period of self-evaluation, you will feel cleansed of your sins, wrongdoings and mistakes, and you will finally be released of your guilt and sorrow about the past. This represents a wonderful purging process and will leave you feeling refreshed and ready to take on any new challenges. The Judgment card often indicates that life-changing decisions are required but unlike those associated with the Logical Justice card, these decisions require a delicate blend of intuition and intellect. You may be at a crossroads, aware that any decision that you make will bring about significant change. The choice can be an obvious one or perhaps the only viable one. You know that this choice must be made and you are facing it with maturity and level-headedness. Your own judgment is impeccable at this time, you can trust it completely and know that you are on the right path. If you still require clarity on the situation, look to your past experiences and life lessons which will guide you on the right path. If you have endured challenges in recent times, then the Judgment card suggests that you may have some respite from these challenges. In fact, you may find comfort in sharing your experiences with others and healing within a group environment. The key here is that there will be others who have experienced something similar to you and who can show you the way to freedom from your troubles. Let them guide you and help you. The world signifies completion, achievement and fulfillment. All of your efforts are finally paying off and you have reached the end of a journey or have completed a major life cycle. You have endured hardships and challenges along the way but these have only made you stronger and significantly wiser and more experienced than when you first started on your journey. A long-term project, period of study, relationship, or career has come full circle and you are now feeling a sense of closure as well as achievement and accomplishment. It could represent a graduation, a marriage, the birth of a child, representing the end of a pregnancy, or the attainment of a long-held dream or aspiration. You have finally accomplished your goal or purpose. Everything has come together, and you are in the right place, doing the right thing, achieving what you have envisioned, and feeling fulfilled and complete. In this sense, the World Card also heralds new beginnings that naturally emerge out of the completion cycle. There will also be well-earned praise, 
celebration and success for your achievements, and if there is not, then you had better organize something because you have worked incredibly hard to get here. All of your hard work, devotion, and planning has finally paid off and it is well worth celebrating. If you have not quite reached this point of completion, you are very close. You need to attain a degree of understanding that enables you to graduate to a higher level and enjoy real success. This rare time of culmination must be identified and honored. Look at the past month, six months, year and think about how far you have come and what you have achieved. You may be quite surprised at your progress and how much you have worked towards completing the cycle of success. You may also see the projects you are currently working on have even better results than expected. The world also represents a period where you can see the entire process or system for what it is and you understand your place within that system. This card is about a deeper understanding of your role and your impact within a certain environment and where you truly fit. This card can also point to a strong feeling of unity and wholeness with the world door in a particular situation. Everything is starting to fall into place and you can be one with the situation. You will be more involved in your community or interests. You have a strong desire to contribute, to give back, or to use a special gift or talent to help make the world a better place. You are coming from a good place now of love, knowledge and experience and you are ready to share this with others. From a more literal perspective, the world can indicate world travel particularly on a large scale. You may be lucky enough to be embarking on a six-month overseas trip, or are working slash studying slash living overseas for an extended period of time. Similarly, this card reinforces universal understanding and global awareness. Wherever you will go, you will encounter new experiences and welcoming hosts who will embrace you and invite you into the- In this lesson I will explain tarot card meanings.